Why, hello everyone. How are you doing? If you are in need of a timesheet, maybe you have some employees. I'm, I'm hiring people and I needed to supply a timesheet to people, so I've finally created a product that you can download for free and I'm going to show you how it works. It's in Microsoft Excel. That's all you're going to need. Microsoft Excel in your brain and you're going to be able to do everything you ever wanted to do with timesheets and I'll show you how to create reporting things and everything. So let's take a look at what we have here. We have a Microsoft Excel file. It's called TT. You can go to KenBraverman.com and you can, uh, you'll can. you just have to fill out your information and you'll get it. It's free. It's totally free, but you will have to fill out your information to get an account um, on the website and you'll be good to go. Now, when you get this file, say you have employees, say you want to do something. I've put in some sample information to kind of show you how it looks when you fill it out, but let's go line by line and explain to you what this file does and how you can use it. There are some areas over here, these three columns. This is Every one of these things is a record, and, and these are different column bits of information about the timesheet record. This thing done, days ago, days left. Don't worry about it right now. It's a bunch of formulas, but you don't have to do anything. These columns are where you start to enter in information. You or your employee would start to enter information. We have something called due date. So let's let's start a new record. Let's say that that the task that I had today is to do a video and to set up um, set up something on a website <laughs> to give you this file, right? So today is the fifth of June, Tuesday. I haven't completed it yet. What's the task? The task is to create video, right? And it's going to be timesheet, video, and tutorial. It's going to be the title of what I'm doing. I'm not even going to spell it right. And the description is, you know, whatever. I don't really care. Now, what we have on the right here is we have our hours. Now sometimes people like to hard code in their hours and just say I know I worked eight hours on this today I just want to do that. Or if you want to be a little bit more detailed about it and get exact hours for people we can say I started this at 1 o'clock p.m. today was my start time and hopefully I'm gonna finish by 2 30 p.m. You type it in with the semicolon or the colon or whichever one that is you know 1 o'clock 2 o'clock put the p.m. or a.m. on the end of it maybe I took a 15 minute break because I got bored you can type that in over here as well. And this is going to create formulated hours automatically to figure out in decimal form how many hours this is. It takes this, the end time minus the start time and then subtracts out the minutes. That's what the formula is inside. You don't have to touch any of that. And then if you want to verify, be like, I felt like I worked an hour and 15 minutes or 1.25 hours. You could type it in there as your manual hour entry. Okay, That was a record. And I did a bunch of other records. And let's say that I actually complete this today, right here. What happens, you can see over on the left, if you take away the information, it shows you how many days left you have to work on this project. Let's leave that blank for now, actually, and whether or not it's done. And that's going to come into play on our pivot table. But that was basically it. You, you could you know, insert or uh, you, know, you could create a new column here for um, you know, client or something. If you had something, we go, oh, this client is YouTube, right? Um, or this client was me. <laughs> you can you can add and subtract different columns uh, in here and add more data to make this thing completely specialized to your own business. But um, you know, let's see here. This, yeah, this could be payroll client, whatever. Um, anyway, so you can do all this, and then now we start to have some fun. We go over to this pivot report sheet. And this right here, this thing is a pivot table. And what you need to do anytime you do any work over here in this timesheet and do any data information, any data entry, anything, you need to go back over here, right click inside of here and choose the refresh option. There's a couple ways to refresh, but you need to refresh because now you're going to get current data in here. And what I've set up is this is a complete way that you could do all of your reporting, all of your timesheets and show hours that people worked on things. And the way that this works is through a pivot table. Pivot tables are pretty intuitive and pretty easy once you kind of get an idea of how you want to see things because you can shape them the way that your mind thinks. And it becomes very helpful at displaying information. So what I've done is I've layered a few of the descriptive categories over here in this thing called the row labels. This row labels here um, that, that dictates kind of how this pivot table will look. 
and you can do anything you want. Say you want to do this by date. You can grab the date completed, which I had up here. I have a date showing up here as, as you know, looking uh, horizontally. But once you have a lot of days in here, way into the future, it's going to be too crowded. You can put the date completed over here and then have everything by date what you did and you can then collapse expand or collapse this thing under this analyze tab anywhere anytime you're clicked in here and you go up to the analyze tab you have this expand or collapse field so if you click on the date field like on a date right there and collapse it things start to shrink down and then you can start to say you can really have fun move things around I call this fun that's right you can you can say all oh, oh, the tasks I was working on why don't I move the tasks over to the column labels and I can see oh here's how much time I spent driving during these days, here's how much time I spent programming during these days, video, all this stuff, and these are my total hours for I guess this week. Then you can use these slicers for a million other things, like what are things that I have not done yet? Oh, what are they? They're payroll development, and they are the timesheet video tutorial, which I'm working on. Um, what day did I do that? Date completed is blank because it's not completed. What about the date that it is due? You can grab the date that it is due and bring that up here. Oh, that was due yesterday. Sorry. Sorry, I didn't finish that for you, honey. I'll work on it. What's due today? The timesheet video tutorial, right? So you can have a ton of, a ton of fun and um, really keep track of all of your employees or your own timesheet data right in here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to remove everything that you do not need and see all the areas that you type in information right only these areas and, and this area are areas where you don't type in information now what if you need more records you have more than 23 lines right here's all you have to do you highlight this area here and then you hover the mouse right at the bottom see how that turned into a black plus sign when it's like that you can hold down the left click on the mouse and pull that sucker down and go into infinity, not infinity, you can go down to like a million rows, but that'll be too many formulas. You go down thousands and have a lot of fun with it. And then it all uh, continues to work and everything feeds into the pivot table the way it's supposed to. So it's pretty easy because uh, now that this is blank, if we go back to the pivot table report and we do what I said, you, you right click inside here and you choose refresh, all of a sudden everything is gone. And then we can go back and, uh, you know, mess around with what we want to do here Get completed anyway so that's a timesheet feel free to download it for free I hope you enjoy it it's uh, it'll be very helpful in keeping track of your hours or your employee hours and if you have any questions or uh, want to have some custom uh, custom additions or changes or anything you want to do or you want to learn more about pivot tables and reporting of course there will be more videos but you can reach out and contact me as well on kenbraverman.com so enjoy <laughs>